Hello, fellow songsters, and welcome to The Ben Aaron Show, Season 2, Week 51. This week I listened to nothing but Elton John and tried to write a similar piano-based ballad. Now, if you're unfamiliar, Elton John had amazing big hits like... Hold me closer, time to dance, And Daniel, my brother, and Rocket Man. And of course, uh, like a candle in the wind, which is among, and this, among one of the many on this amazing album, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Yeah. Now, I'm not a great piano player, but maybe I can show you the basic structure of how Elton John would compose a song that was lyrically written by Bernie Taupin. So, this week, let's go to the piano. The first thing I notice while listening to Elton John songs is that most of them have an introduction of some kind, usually played on the piano, and it's usually a part of the verse or the chorus. Now, when the verse actually hits, the piano part kind of goes a little bit quieter and just maybe plays the chords while the lead vocals take center stage. Take for example, Tiny Dancer. Blue Jean Lady, LA Lady. Especially when you're playing a solo performer, you do want to kind of dial back the piano after the introduction. So I've structured my own original song into three main parts. A verse, a pre-chorus, and the full big chorus. Now a verse usually describes the situation and where this song is taking place, while the pre-chorus builds up some momentum to the chorus, which is the loudest, most recognizable part of a song. And if you're a really good songwriter, you can sum up the chorus into like five or six words that describes the entirety of the song. Now think of Tiny Dancer's chorus. Hold me closer, Tiny Dancer. Count the headlights on the highway. Now, one thing I found really interesting with Elton John was that he would use chords that went outside the key that you were in. If we were in the key of C, you know, this A major 7 suspended 4th does not fit into the song. But what's really interesting, and in kind of a psychological way, is that that chord, that really dissonant chord of... It is screaming to go back to the beginning of the chorus again. So you're hearing this just... Ah, hold me closer, time to dance. You really want to go back to the beginning of the chorus when you hear that A7 suspended fourth chord. It's a really interesting thing that Elton John would do. And when it comes to the words, Elton John always had the lyrics first, handed to him from his co-writing partner, Bernie Taupin. It's also interesting, I found a couple of YouTube videos of Elton John having words set in front of him, and he would just compose, like, awesome music to these words. And these words came from books, from scripts, and even an instruction manual from an oven. I will put those in the description. You should check out those videos. So what does that say about lyrics? Well, to me personally, it means that lyrics can kind of be about anything. As long as it's based around one concept or idea and expanded upon in the verses and kind of rhymed here and there, that kind of helps. A song can be about anything. And I mean, last week I wrote a song about potholes, so go figure. So as I was writing my song, I got to the chorus and started singing, Gasoline, fuel my fire again. And I thought, well, I'm definitely not going to use the word gasoline, but I'm going to maybe make it more fit the chord progression. And I wrote the word uh, tangerine instead. And I basically wrote this song around this idea of a manic pixie dream girl. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the phrase, it was a term kind of used in the 2000s for um, characters like um, Clementine from Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind or the uh, character that Natalie Portman played in Garden State. Sort of this wild, free-spirited person that comes into someone else's life who's kind of miserable and boring. And it sort of creates this um, 
romantic sort of ideal. Eh. So without any further ado, here's my brand new original song, Tangerine. Please enjoy the following. It's all red and fair I'm all along the screen If all the world's in there You got used to that routine Your spirit was so free Like you were singing in the street And the way that you moved your feet Was so very sweet Hey, thanks for listening to my brand new original song. Tangerine will be available on my upcoming album, Diamonds, to be released in the spring of 2018. Until then, you can download my other albums, clubs, hearts, and spades over at benaaronmusic.com. But before you head over there, make sure you leave a comment on this video for me to sing, like these beautiful comments from last week's video. You put so much work into your music, aced it. Great shit, by the way, you really deserve more attention. R.I.P. Joey Ramon was a true legend. The channel is awesome, nice. I'm getting highs for this album of the Ramones. Had the pleasure of seeing them live twice. Great Ramon song, here, Ben. You nailed the Ramon style I was never really exposed to the Ramones Thanks for the comments and the love, everybody. Well, today I hope you learned a little bit about Elton John, or maybe I inspired you cr to create your own original song. And until next week, this is Ben Aaron telling you to keep on practicing and get out there and play. Oh. Come on, baby, baby.